Guys, welcome to my channel, Mike MVP. My name is Mike MVP, and boy, have I got a special letter to introduce to you today. Yeah, welcome to my kingdom. This right here is a brand new, custom built, vintage anamorphic lens, and it has a special property that allows me to do cool things like this. Yes guys, what you saw right there was the same light flare that you guys might have seen in a lot of Hollywood movies. Things that Michael Bay liked to produce, even his Victoria's Secret commercial and or his Transformer, like all of it, got light flare. Especially when the cars are coming at you or you're shooting up against the street lamp. And a lot of music video has this kind of special effect on it that only an anamorphic lid like this can produce. It also produces a really beautiful bokeh and I'll talk about that later. But the con or the downside of anamorphic lens, or most anamorphic lens, is that because it costs anywhere north of five thousand dollars, and not a lot of people can afford a five thousand dollar lens. Let alone the good one goes up to ten thousand, even twenty thousand dollars. I mean, wow, right? But the good thing about the lens that I have in my hand is that it only costs less than two hundred dollars with the custom build, with the custom logo printed on the front, and shipping. I will tell you guys what this lens is later, but today we're gonna put this lens to a test. So me, my assistant, and my boy, we're gonna go out, have some ramen, do a couple of street night shot, portrait, and cars. Of course, I'm taking my car out because I love car photography. So I'm gonna take my Lexus cream out, put this lens to the test, and I'll tell you guys about the pro and the con and what this lens is when we come back. Let's go. Ramen shop guys by the water something. This is my boy Egg. Yeah, I love ramen. Guys, we just have found the craziest location. So we're actually in the middle of the road right now. They got a construction going on. There's a truck and there's a crane. So I thought nobody's gonna bother us because we're in the middle of the road, right? And there's a truck and there's a crane. There's a front light. That one can light up my face. There's a backlit light, just like the picture reference. So let's see if we can get it, man. We're gonna try it out. Hopefully it'll look cool. Let's go. We just came back from a test. And I promise I will tell you guys what this lens is. So this right here is a Helios 44M slash 4 lens. It is one of the most produced lens in the world. I think there's like 3 million of these produced back in the days. So it's very easy to get. That's why the price doesn't cost that much. And there's two different versions, I think, if I'm not mistaken. There's 44 two and that's 44 four i believe the one i have is a 44 four which is a little bit better because of the blade and the mechanical inside plus uh the fact that this lens is made out of metal it is solid it is a 58 millimeter focal length with f2 aperture on it so shooting at night is not a problem with this and 58 i think you find that one of the most useful focal length in terms of landscape city or not landscape City, night shot, photography, street photography, even automotive photography, I find that anywhere between 50 to 85 is my favorite. Now let's go take a look at the pictures that I got from this lens and I'll tell you guys the pro and the con about it afterward. So the first picture is of my assistant off. He was looking into a Robin sign and there was a swirly bokeh behind him. I love the bokeh that is produced rather than oval or hexagonal. It got that special anamorphic effect. By the way, that you look at this picture, you already know that there's something special or a little bit more cinematic and moody about this picture. The second picture is my boy Egg. This guy owns a car restoration shop, man. He fixes chops pack all the time. And I'll talk about that in my Mercedes vlog, which is coming out soon. Anyway, the second picture is my boy Egg. And it was going to be Halloween soon. So I figured, yo, wearing this mask, maybe it'll look like a serial killer. We'll put the red light on his face. That red light was by Bowling P1, I believe. And we shot back with the street where there was street light on it. I didn't get any lens flare effects on this one. I think it has to be closer or a different angle and the light has to kind of be white or yeah, or a cool white temperature. But we did get a bokeh effect and I love the bokeh effect in the back 
of this picture. It does have a line in the middle because the way they build this lens seems to be a line in the middle of the lens. Um, I think that's where the line came from. Let's go to the third picture. The third picture is of my Lexus Cream. We shot it directly into the light. It does have that special anamorphic property on it, which is the blue light lens flare. I love it. However, here comes the pro and the con. The pro and the con is that, well, let's start with, with the con. The con is this lens is not the easiest lens to go out and shoot with. It is definitely not a run and gun set of lens because there is a learning curve to it and it is a little bit harder to nail the focus. I myself have a lot of vintage lens in the back. They're all manual focus lens and I can go out run and gun and nail the focus. No problem. You see, even on the first day that I got the lens. However, I couldn't do it with this lens. Is it a bad thing? Probably not. I'll have to kind of get the learning curve going. Once I nail it, I think, you know, you'll acquire that skill forever. However, I also feel that this is one of those lenses that you require a proper setup, framing, lighting, and composition, plus the subject and everything, just to kind of like have a plan and a setup and framing a shot before you go out and shoot. So definitely not a run and gun, not a run and gun set. Um, having said that, the con can be turned into pro where you only use this lens on a pre-planned type of shooting scenario like your YouTube vlog, your cinematic vlog, or a music video. I think this lens will kill it, especially, especially in the cinematography universe. We're gonna put that out to the video test on the next one, so stay tuned. That's the con. The pro, guys, the pro. Well, where do I even start, man? Let's start with the price. Guys. If you guys are looking to go to an anamorphic universe without breaking your bank, get this lens. It'll save you a couple thousand, if not ten thousand dollars. Second, get this lens. It'll save you ten thousand dollars. Let's get real. Yeah, so the price, that's amazing. Bang for the bucks. I believe there is actually an anamorphic lens out there called Suri, that company. Let's work together, Suri. They got a 35 and a 50. Still, that's anywhere north of a thousand dollars, I think, if I'm not mistaken. This one's only 200. So like I said, if you want to step into an anamorphic universe, start with this. Second one is that you can you can get this lens custom built. You know, they usually paint it orange or purple inside. The color will render a little bit different depending on how you paint it. Mine is purple on the inside. And um, you can also get the lens hood custom. It's not hard to find. You can get it right now. That's the second. Third is the way it looks, man. Just the vintage vibe. This thing is built like a tank. And it's all metal and when you put this on your APS-C camera, your camera looks something special. You look like you know what the fuck you're doing when you're walking around with this lens. So I think those are a couple of the pros that should be enough for you to make a decision if you want to get an anamorphic lens or if you want to test out an anamorphic lens without, you know, spending $5,000 or $10,000. Get this, guys. Like, despite the con, having to set up the cameras, framing and everything else get this I think it's a good start also oh last but not least for the pro most anamorphic lens are squeaks the composition I believe it's actually four third if I'm not mistaken I'm mistaken I'll put the right composition here but you don't have to de-squeeze this anamorphic lens so that's one process list for you in the post process and that's faster crunching out time whether you're producing a film or a photo with this special lens that's it for today, guys. If you guys want to see more cool things like this, where I go out and shoot a car with RGB lighting, light painting, with shitloads of vintage lens in the back that I'm going to try out, and just my daily life vlog in general that hopefully will help you guys purchase your next purchase, lens, gear, equipment, cars, or better your life in any way, please like and subscribe to my channel. We got a lot more cool shit coming. And if you guys don't like it, don't like, don't subscribe. Give me a thumbs down. But Hopefully a thumbs up and I'll see you guys on the next one man. Peace and love. Yeah, welcome to my kingdom. So what the club, so what the club, so what the club, Yindi Ton Rap took them to paradise. Welcome to the land of smile.